<laughs> that's more exciting. Uh, that that fall, that new entrance there, is more exciting than anything we saw in Brad Astra, the new Brad Pitt movie. Uh, so Brad let's get Astra. Brad Astra, not Vauxhall Astra, the new film coming out about the uh, motor vehicles. But here we go, here we go. This is the new Brad Pitt movie, <coughs> Brad Astra. <laughs> There's one thing I've got to say about it. It is an absolute crap film. Brutally honest there, folks. Brutally honest. I enjoyed it uh, more than Chaz, but I can see his point. And there was one particular scene, we don't go into, go into details, but was it, what was the scene that frightened you, Chaz? Oh, there was this big space baboon. Space and baboons. And there was... The co-captain got his nose cut off and his hand. It's a 12A folks, nose missing completely, we saw it. You know we were said that it was going to be gory, there was a bit of gory details and stuff like that. I just thought that was uh, Brad Pitt's face but turns out that was that bit. Anyway, I quite liked it because I'm quite sad but you know I could see how Chaz would find it boring. It was really long. There wasn't that much action. There was the boot, the space jalopy scene. Did you like that when they were chasing the old boy and Brad, old Donald Sutherland's in it. He's an old boy in it. Died. He died. Well, well we don't know if he died or no. He, he took no well because he couldn't go to Mars. So he took no well. But uh, you liked that the car chase scene on the moon. That was alright, eh? Uh huh. So it was no star skiing hutch or anything like that, but it was alright. And uh, but I thought it was kind of like uh, apocalypse. Now, uh, kind of crossed a wee bit with the black hole, except it didn't have any wee cute robots or anything like that. But my wee bit that I need to get in here, there's a scene, I'm not wasting anything for MD, but there's a scene where Brad is in, you've seen this one, did you go to the toilet at this point or were you um, sleeping? Oh yeah, he, I always went to the toilet. He went to the toilet uh, and he's sitting in a radio station going to talk. Uh, to his dad, so his dad's the Colonel Kurtz person that goes a bit do wally. He's played by Tommy Lee Jones, craggy faced Tony, Tommy Lee Jones. Know the drummer out of, uh, what do you call it, Motley Crue? I don't even know that. That's man. Tommy Lee. Anyway, but uh, so he's uh, contacting him via radio because they go to Mars because the only way to link up with the far reaches of the universe, the heart of darkness, down the, the river, Apocalypse Now style is by this radio link and he sits and if anybody's seen Toast of London, the Matt Berry series, eh, they'll appreciate the Clem Fandango when it, they've got all these people behind the screens and he's staying a wee microphone. I just ended myself. That's what I quite liked it. Eh. But eh, it was a bit eh, a bit boring and Tommy Lee and eh, Tommy Lee Jones and Brad meet up at the end, no spoiling anything. But uh, I got it was quite emotional at the end, I thought. But uh, it, what, any last thoughts on it, Chaz? Any kind of things you liked about it? I didn't really like anything. I only liked, I only probably liked, liked seeing the planets. Oh, I, it was really nice looking film with all the planets and the spaceships and all that. But just no, there's no any, you know, no any action to connect it with anything. You weren't really rooting for MD. And Brad was a bit crap and all, really. <laughs> well, there you have it. That's uh, Brad Astra, as we've come to call it. Uh, and I'm going, oh, can I go first, Chaz? I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5 because it had potential. Uh, and I, I liked the, the kind of space, space apocalypse now feel about it going up the heart of darkness to go and see the Colonel Kurtz. And there's even a bit where he's pulling himself through water with a rope and everything like that that was trying to highlight that. Anyway, what about you Chaz? What are you giving? I'm, I'm giving it a three. I'm giving it a that's, that's a rare <laughs> That was Holmes and Watson we gave that. Both of us gave a <laughs> That's a rare zero for Chaz there. So that's three out of ten for Brad Astra. We must have more 12As, quality 12As that Chaz can get in to see because I cannot smuggle him into Rambo. We're trying to make him grow a beard at the minute uh, and say he's kind of vertically well, challenged 35 well, year old. I'm making trying to, to bash this into shape. Yes, he's working hard there. Come on cinema people, Chaz is hitting two bits of metal together to 
because they can't get in to see films. Uh, so hopefully there'll be some 12 A's that we can see. The